welcome to another episode of XGR. Sorry I wasn't on the last ones, but I'm back now. And as always, we have Cruz, a.k.a. The Mole. Good morning. Nice. And um, we have our friend, express friend, Kage, the fallen angel. Woo. Who has recently yep. received a promotion. Yay. Official stand-in for next year. Yay. And, of course, me, Anastasia Lazebeam, a.k.a. Geeky Girl. So, today, I uh, want to start off the news, Mo Okage? Uh, yeah, I'll start off with what may be the sickest news. Sounds fun. Just, just to get that out of the way, the big news. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but Ken McCulk, co-founder of Shadow and Eternal's developer, uh, Pursuer Games, has been arrested and charged with possession and distribution of child pornography. Yeah, that, that, that's a good way of starting the show. But <laughs> police pounded on McCullen at his home in... Uh, uh, on to the, on Ontario, Canada, Ontario, Ontario, Canada, after observing his online activity since April, and they mentioned that the company has, has split ways of him and uh, severed all ties to him due to the child pornography. But yeah. Now is he convicted of child pornography, or he's he's just being like accused of it right now? Like, has it been proven? He's been arrested and charged. Okay. So, yeah. Then, my second bit of news, which is the down, which is down the news for people over here in the UK, Love Film, the people I was, uh, people I was with as well for renting stuff, has announced that it will terminate all video game rentals, both new and existing customers, on April 8th. Not April, August 8th. It hasn't specifically said why or not yet, so... Yeah, I already cancelled my subscription because I'm like, eh, I've got Netflix for streaming. I only use the other one for video games, really. So, yeah. And then my good news, the Batman Arkham Origins DLC is officially coming out on Wii U. Because people were a little, eh, is it not coming out? Is it? It's officially coming out. So, woo! woo yeah. But, yeah, it's you got all them, and unlike video games... There's no computer AI to kind of sort of dick around. Oh, the AI is bad. It's literally left up to human intelligence. Video game, uh, well, video games, board games are the future. Oh, you know, mm. not. <laughs> yeah. Sort of, not not completely. But, um. That's why D and D is always awesome. You don't have another company messing it up for you. Once you buy all that stupid crap, or um, they try to sell you, which you don't need. Anyway, I will bring in my news. First off, I got this um, from the mole. Ubisoft got hacked. And basically, yeah, they got hacked. So change all your passwords if you have anything with Ubisoft at all. What about that? I was thinking um, with Ubisoft with like the Assassin stuff. I have like all that um, what is it called? The Uplay or something? I imagine yeah, you have Uplay. to change um, your passwords on that. Like are your you um, um, you know more about Uplay than I do but like I was thinking you said you got like free shit from it or something. Like some free stuff. Does that mean like your prizes or something? Your points or Ubisoft points could be lost? If your account was hacked, then someone could have used your points, yeah. Uh, that was... Uh, uh, my, my, I got an email through um, yesterday. Well, your, um, yeah, I haven't really used it. I mean, I think I've made an account with it, but I haven't really used it. But that would really super suck. It said um, at the bottom, like, a link of a few people who lost um, some stuff. And I looked further into it, and they could report it and stuff. Supposedly, they'll, like, make up for it. For any information that was stolen or points lost or whatever. So, that's my first bit. Secondly, there's something that I find interesting. Fan cam campaign wants Princess Zelda playable. Now... I don't know, this might be, be me being, like, um, very uh, picky about, like, syntax, I guess. 
but Princess Zelda is playable. Do you want Princess Zelda to be playable? Or do you want, like, Zelda as in her multiple roles of things playable? Because... It's the same. Uh, no. See, I think the first word describes the second one, because, like, Tetra wasn't playable, but she had a very active role. Princess Zelda has always been meh, unless you can consider the Sega CDI ones, because I don't really see her or make it, like, Princess Zelda, I feel, is more unapproachable to make playable than she is if she's in disguise or incognito or playing as another character or she doesn't know that she's Princess Zelda yet in the case of Tetra. I think that makes it a lot more approachable and makes her more apt to contribute more, like, um, right directly to Link instead of being, like, a side character. Because I don't really see her actively joining and become a player as, like, the whole princess role. Spoiler for you, Bruce Wayne's Batman. See, I know, I know you're saying, like, Sheik is Zelda and Zelda is technically, but they have so many different roles. She can have so many different roles. So, I don't exactly know, um, specifically if that's what they want, because I'm full, um, all for Zelda having a more active role, absolutely, but I just don't see the princess part happening. But, like, again, that that could just be me as, like, taking this little syntax thing to, um, crazy or whatever. So. Yep, and that's, that's my news. So, that would bring us to the next category of what, uh, games we played for the week. Or a month, or whatever. Nobody? Nobody played any games? <laughs> Just me? Wait, no. Um, what have I played? I played, uh, Ratchet and Clank, Crack in Time. I bought that the other day. That was cheap. Um, uh, I played a, I finished off, um, Skylanders Giants. I do have to say that the, the ending to Skylanders Giants, the final level, is, 10 million times easier than the ending in the first game. I still haven't finished the first game. Yeah. And, it, and it's a game that's built for fucking 10 year olds. You know what else has been for 10 year olds? All those freaking like uh, old uh, console games, you know? Like the NES, uh, not the NES, but the, the freaking Atari 2600 and stuff. Those are built for like 10 year olds too. <laughs> mm. And nobody's beaten those, a lot of them. Mm-hmm. What's about the ball? Any games you're looking forward to buying? Um, yeah, I've actually got, uh, five games on pre-order, I think, now, for October. Um, since that seems to be the release month every year. <laughs> um, Assassin's Creed Black Flag... Uh, Disney Infinity, Skylanders, Sport Force, and Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. Nice. Getting both X and Y? Yep. Okay. Yeah, because I'll play one, and I'll give the other one to my sister. Okay, um, so I'm guessing you'll get that, um, she'll get the X and you'll get the Y, so it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo is very smart when they thought of that. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to cut ahead a moment and say the games that I played. <laughs> okay, the games that I played were, hey, I finally friggin' got Minecraft. Woo! Yeah, my friend finally got me Minecraft, so and I've been playing that, and I've been kind of, like, addicted, and... The best part, I guess, I like about it is the animals. Oh, my God, I love their cute little derpy faces. It's, like, ridiculous. How can you, like, not love them? I like the, like, the wall-eyed thing. But um, I've been seeing the differences between Xbox and the Pocket one, and stuff. certain stuff is, like, easier on other versions than on this one because in the Xbox one, like, wheat attracts, like, all the animals, where in the PC one, it has specific ones. 
So it's easier to get animals on Xbox One. Because I have to freaking find carrots to get pigs, which are rideable, so I gotta have pigs. But I need to find carrots first, which are only dropped by zombies. Why? Zombies running around with carrots? I don't know. It's not gonna help their eyes from falling out of their head, you know. They're already it's already too late for that. Okay, so another one, still playing Animal Crossing since you saw my unboxing. Uh yeah, it's pretty awesome. My sister and I have been playing it. She keeps stealing it from me and oh my god, she's gone crazy O C D with all these freaking fruit trees and making signs and labeling it or all the orchards are and She's been driving me crazy. Uh, well, though I'm the freaking mayor of the town, and she doesn't like that. So, but it's pretty awesome. It's a great experience because, like, I can actually control shit. Like, I built bridge where I wanted to build it, and I got my freaking desk, and I have like the power, you know, and I can like start projects. And I like the expandability of you start off like the main street has like a few shops, and then it goes and grows and has more shops and more shops, and then the shops that are already there get upgraded occasionally a few times, which is cool. Then uh, the last game I've been playing this week is a pen game that's apparently already been out for like a year, and I didn't hear hear of it. And how I didn't hear of it, I have no idea. The Pokemon MMO, yeah, I know. It's like supposedly my sister said it's been around for like a year. And, of course, uh, I was going to start out with Squirtle, but, you know, because, like, I always start out with Squirtle, but I said, you know what, I think I'm going to give Bulbasaur a chance. So, that's what I've been doing. I found a Pikachu in the Viridian Forest. Oh, yeah, I'm awesome. And, yeah, that's that's how far I've gotten. <laughs> so, well, the games you've been playing? Uh, I've not played much this week. I've only played two this week. Mm -hmm. I've played Animal Crossing, Let's right Go to the City or City Folk for all of you in American stuff, which is the Wii version of Animal Crossing, which it's okay, it's easy to get bored as fuck with those games stuff. <laughs> They're too easy and they don't have a purpose. It's literally all gathering dust at the moment. <laughs> I played it for like the first day or two and I was like, yeah, okay, just put it down. As with my Animal Crossing one, I literally play it for about probably 15 minutes to a half an hour a, a day, and sometimes I miss a day, it doesn't really matter, because unlike almost every other game I play, you don't just play it for like 8 hours or whatever, although some people would argue they do that and they collect the gold of money, but they're insane. Um, I think the proper way to say this, and you're going to like, you can totally um, argue and say it isn't because there's no proper way to play a game, but at least the intended way to play the game, I guess, or maybe to get the best experience of playing it, would just be like play it like 15 minutes a day or even if you miss a day it's fine like and that's like the way because you know stuff is in the shops and it's in real time so obviously you're not going to spend the entire day playing it because it's in real time you're not going to like what are you going to do all day like, no i'm crossing seriously you know you got to sleep you got to eat you got to do stuff you know so that's how i think it's intended it's very casual it is but it's it's also bad that it doesn't seem to have much purpose. It's like, okay, now you got to earn money for this. Okay, now I go earn more money for this shit. It's like, oh, yeah. it's they're fun. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's not fun. It's just easy to get bored with. But I also have my sister playing, so I could like, be biased. But I think it's more of them selling an experience. And again, you had your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I was nice. saying, I was saying, casual. It's, it's casual. It's kind of fun, but. It's, Pretty much a bad game, I'd say, with Animal Crossing games, but my second game, The Political Machine 2012. Oh, yeah. No one's played that. <laughs> Never heard of it. It's on Steam now for, like, $4. That's or, like, two fifty or something over here. And when I got it, and basically what you do is you either play as an existing one or create your own, presidential candidate and run the US election against one of the other candidates. Like, I was, I made myself, and you can see that on my Twitter, but I made myself and I, I had, when you got to pick your second in command, I picked that Sarah Palin, I was a Republican, and I had them on my side, and then I was against Hillary Clinton, and I fucking slaughtered her, and I won. I played dirty, I, I sneaked, I, I did all downright nasty tactics but it's fun because you play with like little bobbleheads and essentially speaking 
you then, while you're playing this little bobblehead, you, like, click the player, you move into the next area, you give a political speech or build thing, and then you, buy, you, you compete to try and get, like, areas. Like, ironically, I was against Hillary Clinton, but because I had the stop foresight to build up my political power first, I managed to grab the women's rights first. So, boo, yeah, she lost her only advantage of being, like, a minority. Boo, I took that. Then I took the black vote. Boo, yeah. Then I took the Christian vote. Boo, yeah. Then I took the gun vote. Boo, yeah. And in the end, she was running with just an environmental candidate, in, which my side was also com- competing with the environment stuff, too. So, yeah, it didn't really help her. So, um, when I black woman environmentalist <laughs> who loves guns and... No, no, she was the environmentalist. I took the Christian vote. Okay, so, um, black... Because I, I realized, while, I, while I'm not religious, the religious people are sheep enough that if you pay their vote, they for you, it's free votes. <laughs> so I took it. But yeah, it's like I also went into other areas when she was when she started to get like like when she started to get like Texas, let's say, and she started to get the votes in Texas and it started to turn blue. I went into Texas. I ran a campaign against her, telling her, telling everyone that she was against all the environment and she was against she was all completely one hundred percent for violence and video games, which was an issue, and people fucking hated it. Her approval rate dropped as mine rose. <laughs> that sounds pretty fun. Both amazing and terrible at the same time. It is. But like I said, it's fun. And they even have parody versions of proper U.S. political talk shows. Like, I was on one with someone called Barry King. <laughs> that's, that's one I uh, made fun of Larry King, that really, really old guy who does stuff. I, I was aware. I was using quote marks with a Barry King because uh, it looks it looks just like him. Like I also went on the Colbert report. Ha! Uh, and they look just like him, but it it's also got fantasy elements that you may appreciate too because you can take dead people and have them be your like second in command. Like if I wanted to, I could have taken Abraham Lincoln as my second in control. And I was like, ah, okay, fair enough, he freed the slaves, cool, but I don't approve of vampire hunting. <laughs> Sarah Palin's hot, yeah, I'll grab her, because I, let's face it, I'm not going to have the appearance vote based on myself, I need boobs. <laughs> oh my god. But that was both of my games, and the cool thing with Political Machine, for anyone out there tempted to buy it, if you buy it, you can actually compete with your friends online. If you choose to, so like, I could run against you, Geeky Girl, or you, Fallen Angel, and we could basically compete with one person for the other and try and get hold of this country. Uh, Which I like that. How about we just trade countries? You can have mine and I get yours. <laughs> yours is like 10 million times bigger than mine. That's okay, it sucks. <laughs> you, come home, you come home a lot with magic beans, don't you? Oh, absolutely, <laughs> except I smoke them. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that, that was done. You can totally check out the political machine on Steam. Yeah, all right. That moves us to our discussion topic. Uh, this one where we're talking about um, how Skylanders uses those toys in games, and so does Disney Infinity, and like maybe some other games that use that, and how we feel about the merchandise uh, being put into the games and that whole type of game style. Anybody? Power Rangers. Okay, sorry. Power Rangers what? Power Rangers needs to have this period. That's it. <laughs> you mean like just with like, you'd like maybe you um, the part that you buy is just the morphers or something or like, and then you go in there and do Power Ranger shit? <laughs> Well, I think that they need to have a game like this because um, with the new season coming out next year, they're more than likely going to be selling um, the keys that the Rangers are going to be using in show. So it'd be a good idea to sell like a little device that the keys could slot into um, and al- like, along with this game. And if... Uh, a specific key is placed in this device and it's like turned on that range of, oh, with 
because I don't think little statues for Power Rangers would work as well. And this way they can um, hit two birds with one stone and have a game out and also sell the keys. Except for Skylander, Giant needs to be some Megazords. Yeah. Yeah, yes. That, that is true. I think that could work, but there's not really much point, I don't think, in selling little mini statues Zords. Would the green Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and all of the MMPR ones, would they be swapped for so you can put the shield on other people? <laughs> well, you could get special edition keys. Yes, yeah, but... Yeah, that'd be, special edition! Yeah, that, that'd be cool. Like I said when they announced Disney, they need to do Star Wars and Star Wars and a comic book one of either DC or Marvel. I don't really care which one. I prefer to be DC at this point. Yeah. <clears throat> that would be pretty friggin' sweet. But I still want a Pokemon one where, like... There is one. No, but, like, one with Dragonites. Dragonite-based. He um, is going to be in it. Yeah. But it's not <laughs> yet. Like, I just need... I need it now. Yeah, for some reason, the Pokemon one hasn't come out in any English-speaking countries yet, I don't think, which I kind of wanted to. I want to... I kind of want the Pokemon one. Yeah, it's the Pokemon Rumbles game, which... It's still a fun game. Yes. But I want, like, a full-on, like... Skylanders thing, except the Dragonites. And I could just destroy towns and villages with my Dragonite. And... <laughs> so, basically, you'd want to see a Pokemon game with over 700 <laughs> different player characters. Yes. <laughs> you know how much money they make out of that? <laughs> well, see, they already got a customer. Tachi would buy them all. <laughs> yeah. That's the... Fr- that- that's the thing with that Fallen Angel. Like I mentioned, they have a game like that in Japan where you buy the Pokemon figures, you put them on the yeah. Wii U's gamepad, and they appear in the game. They need to make that international. They'd sell fucking loads. I mean, I'd get that. And f- yeah, I'd get myself a Pikachu and a Togepi. I put my random uh, generic you, on it. That, yeah. Imagine they bring that game out, and then, like, each figurine is, like, say... Six to ten dollars. Um, they done the, how much they'd make. They've done the clever thing with that. Mm. With the Pokemon one, they've done smaller, less detailed figures. Therefore, it costs less to buy them. Therefore, yeah. people will want to buy them all. Yeah. But over over the course of a year, like a year or so, you'd be able to buy them all no matter what. Yeah, because let's just oh. say... Because apparently the game's meant to include every Pokemon ever, I think. That's what they said. That's what they were aiming for. Anyway, let's just say it's $2 each, and you only buy every single one from the good games, which was 151 uh. Times that by two, and you have, what, 302 That's $302 per person that decides to do that just for that gen. That's fucking loads. Yes. This is why they need to do it. Well, it, see anyone from uh, Nintendo? It's, you know what um, else I could, um... Okay, yeah, you're gonna... If I see anyone from Nintendo at the EB Games Expo, I'll be sure to let them know. Mm-hmm. And I, I'll, I'll definitely be trying to find somebody from... Uh, I, I can't remember who actually makes the, um... the portals for the, um... Skylanders games. Because I think it's Toys for Bob. I'm not sure, but hopefully when you go there and you see the Nintendo people, hopefully it's Reggie, so you can look at him and say, where's the game? My Pokeball is ready. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now you're going to hate me for, like, saying that. Too late. <laughs> okay, um, but I really like Hey You Pikachu. Okay? Do you hate me already? No. Okay. Now, what if you could do that with, like, the, like, you buy the things, but it could be, like, for any Pokemon that you buy, and you put it on, like, the Wii U or something, and with the camera and everything else, you could kind of do something maybe slightly more responsive than Hey, You Pikachu, but generally, like, the same kind of thing, you know? So, you want a Pokemon version of Connectimals? I guess. 
but kind of, I see connectables, and um, that's kind of meh. Like, Pay You Pikachu, I think it's still better than connectables. No, connectables was better because you had the camera, it worked just like you said, the voice commands worked a lot better, and you could also play with the screw, play with them a lot more and stuff. It, 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 that was, something like that of Pokemon would have been awesome. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Well, I think, um, while I think that Pokemon would be a good game to go along the route of Skylanders, I think at the moment, um, the best game, or the best shot, I should say, that I can think of that would be an excellent, um, Skylanders type game would be Digimon. I had never got into Digimon. I only know about the first, like, generation of them. Yeah, Mainly because it doesn't have, like, 700 characters. It's only got set amount through the seasons, and it'd be a lot easier to control and collect. Like, you could have, um, like, the rookie level, the champion, the ultimate, and the mega. You could buy that in a set for 20 bucks, 30 bucks. I have no idea what you're talking about when you say, like, describing parts. I'm guessing, like... You have, like, the chibi, and then the less chibi, and then you have, like, the super yeah. one that's not chibi at all. <laughs> yeah. It, it's basically the levels, like, rookie is, like, the starter level of a Digimon, and then it'll digivolve up into its right on. Yeah. Oh, good mon, digivolve. Are they all um, with the last name mon at the end? Yes. Okay. Every single freaking one of them. Okay, just, I just wanted to Including, know. I'm fucking your mom. <laughs> so, let's make it Jim's mom. <laughs> Everyone knows she's not getting any. Very good. Uh, but, the two like that, I, I've mentioned in the past, which I thought could kind of cool. I have mentioned two in the past of a wrestling game, which is more over the top, like the All-Stars one. But you buy the little WWE Rumble figures for it. Well, that'd be, be interesting. To that, see. That, yeah, that'd be cool. The other one would be, as I mentioned on one of the other sites I'm a member of, would be Dragon Ball Z. Uh, I don't know the much gi- about that either. Yeah, the giant figures, like the giants on Skylanders, booyah! You've instantly got, like, the Uzarus and fucking, like, the giant Lord Slugs and Baby Vegeta and stuff like that. It works like fuck. It's a Baby Vegeta. Vegeta possessed by Baby. Mm. How is that not obvious? I'm kidding. Is 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 it a bird or something? Okay, let's talk to you now. (laughs) (laughs) But no, basically, what happens with the... Like, you got them, and... Like you, like oh, what the hell are they called on Skylanders? The glowing figures. Oh, the light core figures. Yeah, Super Saiyan figures. Instantly, you get you can buy Goku level like normal level Goku, and it encouraged people to buy the same person in the other forms. They have different moves, and it's not oh, okay. I'm trying to get Super Saiyan be stronger because you want normal Goku in order to have Spirit Bomb and transform between the various forms. Yeah, and then you. Like, you'd have to look at, like, Goku's got, uh, so Goku has his normal form, his Kaioken, his, um, non-Super Saiyan form, I suppose you'd call it, that was in the Lord Slug movie. Yeah, fake Super Saiyan. Yeah, fake Super Saiyan. Then you've got Ultimate Super Saiyan and Ultimate Super Saiyan 2. See, I, I just, I just, well, I'd have Goku... Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, and maybe Saiyan God if they want to. That's right, I'm not Saiyan 4. But the reason I'd have those ones is, like with the, like you mentioned with the other ones, of like you get like the full Super Saiyan as one of them, and fake Super Saiyan, a KO Ken. They could just be like on Skylanders when you level up the figures. You level up normal Goku, you can get KO Ken. Yeah. KO Ken! Times 20! It'd also be cool that with the Dragon Ball Z one as well, because think about it like this, Kage, as well. Imagine if they did a, a couple of figures where if you pulled them apart and put them together, it did the fusion. 
Well, that's pretty much what they're doing with Swap Force. That's what I meant. Like, that's, that's what I meant about, like, they're just Skyland as well. Uh, but imagine it, like, you get Gotan, and you get Trunks, and you literally just take off the pieces, or, or you take off, like, on the, the bottom of Trunks, the top Gotan, you put go tanks properly in the game. That'd be fucking awesome, or maybe Vegeta, or Vegeta, or any of the other fusions. It'd be awesome. Yeah, it would be. Most you definitely. It'd definitely be interesting to see. I think we lost these. It's a, it's a, it sounds like a species of rare bird. Ah. <laughs> so, like, um, any any TV shows that or something that you'd like to see? as a Skylanders type game, other than Pokemon? Um, not that I'd like to see it, but I did see, um, I know that, like, earlier, before the, when there was a show called but Ugly Aliens or something like that, they had something similar already existing with them. Um, that was interesting. I, I have one for both Stacy and Kage, which, I wouldn't buy this one. But you two may get this. Well, you two may have got this one. Okay. Imagine if Disney does an ad, does like a new portal, which can use the old figures. And this time around, the figures they release as well are Final Fantasy characters. So it's called Kingdom Hearts Infinity, if you play with that one. That'd be freaking awesome. I'd buy that shit up. Yeah, you know, so when you play with Jack Sparrow and all the ones you had from Disney Infinity and carry them over to that... And also, I get all the fucking, like, Sephiroth figures and whatever other emo-looking feminine male characters you want. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's got angst. This just reminds me of, like, when we went to, like, on the Comic-Con 2010, and we had the anime dating show one, where they tried to pick the most awkward pairing, like, the literally most awkward pairing possible, which was Genova and Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> so now I can actually make it happen. I can have Genova and Mickey together in the same game. <laughs> nice. It's like, it's like, imagine if Hasbro did it. With, with the Hasbro. ponies. Ha, 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 with the ponies. Yeah, so you could get ponies, Transformers, fucking Mr. Potato Head, Stretch Armstrong, and all their other Hasbro, I think Stretch Armstrong is Hasbro, but you get, you can get all the other Hasbro properties all in one game. That'd be fucking awesome. You had me at ponies. Everyone did. <laughs> no, I had you at angst. Ha! <laughs> oh, look how dark and mysterious my Final Fantasy characters are. Wait, what's that? Oh my god! Oh, it's angst! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I imagine Final Fantasy characters do. Oh my god, look at that guy. He's so pretty. Wait. Oh no, that female. She's so emotional. My emotions. Ugh, that's totally freaking um, part of 10 and definitely 12. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, I think um, it it's definitely a profitable avenue to go down for any, any company or any anyone that is looking to do it because they could make so much money. It is, uh, it is and isn't. Yeah. It depends on the fan base, I think. Because, like, let's say DC were to do it, comic fans will buy fucking anything with DC. Not insulting them, but let's say, like you mentioned, the Power Rangers one. Most Power Rangers fans won't even fucking buy the actual channel that actually shows the show. They're like, nope, we'll illegally download it. Which means I don't see that one making too much profit. It's like something like, like My Little Ponies, like Stacey mentioned, that would probably make profit. Yes. Like a series I like, like the Dragon Ball Z one would probably make people buy it shit off that. But depending on the property, if, you know what I mean? Because it's a big risk factor. Because it's not a case of if your game doesn't sell and you don't sell the figures, not only do you lose the money from the game, you also lose all the money from all the toys you fucking put out there. So mm. it's kind of risky. See, and you know, I'm just thinking of human figures for Pokemon that you could put in there. <laughs> like, you don't even need the Pokemon. You can, like, I was thinking Nurse Joy or, like, Brock Rash or something for something else, or I don't know. 
I don't even know what you could do with it, but I'd still buy it. I don't even care. I'd just take the figure. I didn't have to do anything. Did I put Sonic? What about Sonic? Sonic 2 in there? Yeah, sure, put Sonic in there. No, no, not Sonic. Sonic 2. What's a Sonic 2? Wait. People. Um, sorry, what? Just being Sonic 2, it spread through the internet. Sonic 2, it spread through the internet and shit. After this, go on to Google Sonic 2. And literally, all it is is Sonic that someone's painted yellow and gave, like, Pikachu, like, design and claimed he was an original fan character. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilariously stupid. But yeah, that'd be so friggin' awesome. Any, any kind of company that has a good fan base and doesn't mind being a giant whore. Which can be a good thing or a bad thing, you know. I don't judge. It worked for James' mom. Huh. Oh, I hope he hears this podcast. <laughs> well, considering uh, he's sitting there listening to us. Oh, I forgot no, he was. I totally no, forgot. He's not. Uh, no, he's not. I think, he left, I think he left when Marcus Shadow logged on. Uh, okay. And you'll appreciate the fact that I used the X pound name so you don't have to edit that crap. Okay. Yay. Alright, and final thoughts about um, Skylander based uh, games? It's an interesting thing. It gets a lot of negative thing from some people. Some people are like, oh, they're just desperate for money. Oh, uh, the best one is when I hear like Call of Duty fans, oh, they're just desperate for money. <laughs> oh, cool, Call of Duty Elite Pack, I must buy this to get a new gun. It's like, fuck off, all games do it with DLC. The difference between this and normal DLC, though, is this is video games, but at the same time, I'm back to when we were kids and we used to collect stickers and playing cards and pogs, if you remember pog. I remember pogs. I even had the tube to hold all your pogs. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think this could be freaking awesome. Because originally I was one of those people, I'm like, oh my god, it's just a money whore. And then, like, actually, um, me and my friends, uh, we were actually waiting for a ride, so we were stuck in Walmart for, like, four hours. So what we ended up doing is we, like, literally took every single Skylander in the entire thing, and there was, like, probably, like, 60 of them there, and we played through, like, the demos at Walmart with every goddamn character, and it's actually really fun. <laughs> and, oh, my God, we, I would have totally bought it there had I not been poor and had no money, but... <laughs> it, is. it is. That's why I'm looking for the Disney one. It, it looks fun. It was. Like, I thought it was some stupid shit, but then once we, like, freaking like, played it, and we were, in, like, stuck there, we had nothing nothing else to do. It was really freaking awesome, so. <laughs> yep. Which long-term fans may remember me reviewing Skylanders. Hmm? I didn't do Giants or Swap Force, though, because I, did, I didn't get those ones, because I was like, eh, they don't interest me as much now. But, uh, but I did enjoy the first one, and I'm looking forward to, the, obviously, like, I'm like, into, like, the Disney one. Someone actually in Sears today mentioned something about like a Spyro clone, one of them. Uh, I, don't, I don't know um, what, like, what what that is or something, but they said they wanted to get the Spyro one. And I was like, what? There's a Skylander Spyro. And I'm like, okay. I'm assuming yeah. that it's not actually Spyro because I couldn't get the namesake, but like it's similar. It actually probably is because Spyro is in Skylanders. Wait, oh, really? Like, the whole, like... Yes, uh, see, when they first made Skylander Stace, mm -hmm. they didn't want... They, they they made all these characters and the concept of it, and then Activision were like, okay, we need to make some money off this, we don't know if it's sell on its own, so they added, Sky, they added Spyro to the title, and it's Spyro Skylander's Adventure, something along that lines. Oh, so he's for actually the, in there, like, legitimately. For the, yeah, for the first one. The second one... Is just called Skylanders Giant and Skylanders Swap Force. They drop the Spyro name, but Spyro keeps getting re-released with each one because he is in there. And they even include the character of Cinder from Spyro too. Cinder. Female Spyro, basically. Okay. Well, that's cool. That's cool to know because somebody um, mentioned it earlier today. Uh, uh, I, I, I will admit, I was fearing that the Skylanders thing may cause some problem in the road. 
What's that? I'll admit, because well, I think we had talked about this on x Pan when we discussed these figures, but I was kind of worried a little bit that because of how the trophies look in the game, I was worried Smash Bros. was going to go down this route. Wait, you mean I, you have to buy, like, your freaking Smash Bros. characters? Yes, and put them on them and put them in the game. I was worried it was going to do that with, like, little trophies and stuff. And I was like, because eh. I'm one of those with a fighting game. I like to have every character. Yeah, that, I, I was like, that would be bad. <laughs> that would be bad if they did that. <laughs> and I don't think they're going to do that. Because that's, like, people would rebel. Because when you play, I don't know if, like, if you're like me, but when I play freaking Smash Bros., you got to have every goddamn character. you got to do everything with every character. And, like, well, that would just drive me insane if I had to buy those. I would be like, no. No, you did not. You did not just do that. I don't know how this turned into a discussion when you're doing final thoughts, but that's okay. <laughs> it's a final thought discussion. Yes. <laughs> well, let's, let's go over to the Fallen Angels final thoughts. Um, final thoughts. Uh, it's a marketable avenue for any any company. Um, it it'd be a good road for most things to go down. Um, probably not all, of course. Um, if it's a if it's a well known thing like Pokemon, um, they could make. Mm, billions of fucking dollars. It's um, anything that, like, got marked in the hipster kind of thing that, that has its own, like, you know, hipster fandom would definitely work. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know you're a hipster. Shut up, I hear you. I can't wait, I can't wait to swap force and it's going to be awesome. Awesome. May, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll go about finishing the first Skylanders game. That is a pain in the ass. I'm going to laugh if, in a few years' time, they find out that adults have been buying Skylanders more than kids. Same with Disney Infinity and stuff. So suddenly, first-person shooters, you know, have to go out and buy all the little guns and place them down mm-hmm. and load them in. Oh, they already had that in my town, except they were real guns. Or at least replica-sized ones. Anyway. <laughs> um... Uh, until they realized that they, that shouldn't be in the hands of kids. Um, <laughs> but uh, anyway, my final thoughts are, um, yeah, totally do it and pour that shit out with Pokemon and, uh, yeah, that's it. Pour that shit out with Pokemon. <laughs> Not even ponies? And ponies. And ponies. For Tachi, especially. <laughs> and not even your angsty stuff? Oh, I don't give a shit about that. <laughs> That's like all this city all over again. I don't care about that. You wouldn't like it to do it with your Jersey Shore so you can buy your limited edition Snooky you were talking on the spot before we went on the air? I'll tell you this and I'll tell you it now. If I ever decide to have the most painful suicide imaginal, I'll come to you first for ideas. Cool, cool. <laughs> And I'll say to you, your suicide's cool and all, and I'm going to let you finish, but Kurt Cobain had the best suicide of all time. Okay. All time. <laughs> all right. Well, that, no reference. If that wraps it up, then this has been another episode of XGR. In the morning. <laughs> yep. He <laughs> said, yep. All right. Everybody, no, goodbye. He- no, he said in the afternoon. Oh, okay. Because he's like 12 hours ahead of us. Oh, all right. Night, everybody. <laughs>